we have a very special guest this morning who is probably going to surprise you. Let's give you a little tease here about what he's about. Okay. Not really. <laughs> and how old are you? I'm 18. Are you registered to vote yet? No, but I'm in the process of doing that. Do you plan on voting in the next presidential election? No. Why not? Um, I, I don't know. I'm busy. This is because I don't have the time, really. Because I'm really, 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 really busy at school. You're busy? What? Are you kidding? Yeah, no kidding. Just too busy. The excuse being given by many young folks these days who say they're not going to vote. Yeah, but one man, young man I should say, 16-year-old mm -hmm. from South Florida is hoping to change the I don't have time excuse. Hmm. And he's taking the campaign to the World Wide Web. Joining us now is Noah Gray. Thank you so much. Oh, Your you. video on the web is phenomenal. And first question I have, are you looking at a future in film or in politics? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I've always been interested in film and politics. And mm -hmm. I've... Uh, uh, combine the two of them together so uh, I don't know where where it is exactly but I know it's gonna be in in one or the other but probably more film geared t communications why are you passionate about this issue and you can't even vote yet well because I mean uh, 1972 the 26th amendment made it so uh, the voting age was lowered to 18 and it's our constitutional right and I think that it's so important for the young people to vote because they can they can choose their their uh, their leader who mm -hmm. will make important decisions affecting them in the present and in the future whether it's not they're gonna be able to get a job pay for school go fight a war by a house it's it's now and and later decisions so that's why it's so important for them to uh, to to take advantage of their right how have you been able to get into so many behind the scenes <laughs> political <laughs> places and venues I, I started off. Uh, I was covering. Uh, I was covering um, a, a Christopher Dodd press conference here, mm -hmm. and then uh, it was, uh, "Hey, you want to come in? And uh, here's a credential for the spin room at the d at the uh, at the the Democratic Forum at UM for for the the first debate here." So, who are some of the folks you've interviewed? Um, well, I've interviewed basically everybody but John McCain and uh, Barack Obama. Um, I I spoke with Senator. Uh, I spoke with. Mike Gravel, Mike Huckabee, Kucinich, um, all of all of the, wow. the, the, the I, I can't even remember most. I'm things. impressed. <laughs> wow. Hey, other than saying that they're too busy, um, did you run across any young virgin voters that said they're just simply not gonna vote? I did not find that. I found people who were who were interested in 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 voting and they need to learn more people who who don't know anything and they either don't want to learn more or they want to learn more i mean it was a whole variety of people but now that it's getting so so, um, so much more close to the to election day people are getting more involved do I think. you think young voters realize how much they can influence this election i i think i think they do and if they don't they should realize it because it's this is a, a, this is a vital election especially for young people like i said we've seen the obama campaign obviously target young voters they've had these concerts mm -hmm. with uh Nas and Jay-Z all across the country. Are we to presume automatically that Obama is going to carry much of the young vote? Or are there some, you know, budding young Republican camps out there that are going to uh, swing it for uh, McCain? I don't know. We'll see on November 4th. But my project is totally, totally uh, balanced. and Nonpartisan. <laughs> nonpartisan. You were very it's, fair and impartial. Yeah. If the, if the young people do their research and, and, and find the best candidate for themselves, they'll go ma and make an educated decision on Election Day. Somebody who wants to see your video, where do they go? They can go to my website, virginvoting.com. Okay. They can watch the video. It's around 10 minutes. They can also get the t-shirts there. They never forget your first time. And you're like, you're the cameraman. You're the host. You're the interviewer. <laughs> Everything. You did it all. Are you hoping maybe to make this into, I don't know, a documentary or taking it to another level? Well, um, we'll, we'll see. I'm, I'm actually going to be in New York next week at, at the Hofstra camp. Uh, for, for the, for the debates, I'm going to be speaking with some more young people on campus and uh, see what I can do with an updated, uh, longer documentary with all of my um, endeavors. Wow. You also oh. are going to be interviewed by CNN? Yes. You're going big time, <laughs> Noah. <laughs> How about that? That's terrific. Well, uh, you know, when Kevin Costner calls for his <laughs> movie, Swing Boat, we'll make certain to put him in touch with you. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, Noah, great, thank man. you so much. Oh, thank you for having Appreciate me. Appreciate the hard work that you did and uh, for getting the word out. And let's hope that some of these young voters find the time yep. to select yep. our new leader for this country. And they're as passionate about it as you are. Well done. All right. Thank you. Noah. Thank you.